The verdict capped a prolonged political process, including an election campaign dominated by mud slinging and fake news, with many observers fearing that the dispute over the result would boil over into violence. But on Monday, Ruta struck a conciliatory tone, saying his government would work to make Kenya a country for everyone. I therefore extend a hand of brotherhood to all my competitors and to all their supporters. We are not enemies, we are Kenyans. Let us unite to make Kenya a nation where everyone shall be proud to call home. As Deputy President, Ruto was widely expected to succeed outgoing President Uhuru Kenyatta, but found himself exiled to the sidelines when his boss struck an alliance with former Four Odinga, endorsing him for the top job. A businessman with a rags to riches background and a shadowy reputation, Ruto had styled himself as a hustling chief and the champion of the downtrodden as Kenya grapples with the economic crisis. Both Ruto and Odinga had vowed to respect the court's ruling, with memories still raw of deadly violence that married previous election disputes in East Africa's most vibrant democracy.